those at home who are about to come tonight. What's going on, guys? I just finished um, watching the 20.1 open workout. Um, it's been a while since I've done like any sort of vlog or anything like that, so I thought today we would just do like a mini vlog. Um, a lot has changed, obviously. Um, I'm in a new space. Uh, I just moved here, um, so I'm kind of organizing. As you can see, stuff still in boxes and stuff, but um, I'm in a better place. I want to talk about that a little bit, but first, we definitely need to go to the gym. So what we're gonna do is head down to One World, my gym, uh, go train, do 6 p.m. class, um, and then after we'll just kind of talk about updates because. Who doesn't love a boring update vlog, but kind of inspirational, kind of talking about preparing you for this open CrossFit season. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's let's, let's do a little bit of flying. One, one second. Three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's been a hot minute since I've done any sort of video and I thought today would be an appropriate time to start, I guess, making videos again. Um, as you guys know, I took a bit of a break to kind of focus on my mental health, um, a lot of different things that were encompassing that, but I feel like now is a great time. It's been like six, seven months since I've actually put out a video. A, a actual review lifting or any sort of video so hey this is my sort of intro back into the world of YouTube but it's super awesome because there's been some people that have still reached out asking uh, for me to put together some videos for them so we're gonna have some more quality reviews for you guys that's probably really where my focus is gonna be I might throw some vlogs in there who knows but um, as you guys have seen already today was more of a vlog type video um, just to kind of intro my life back into the world of content creation. Uh, so I'm super stoked, guys. I hope you guys are stoked as well. Um, with that, uh, we have the Open right now. Um, and I don't think I could have gone through the Open again if I was at the place I was in my previous video. I've done also a podcast on this, uh, being in the right headspace. And that's really, I think, a lot of what is important when you're going into the Open is making sure that you're in the right headspace. A lot of the times, uh, we aren't in the right headspace in terms of comp competition and going to those dark places and things of that nature um, and making sure that you're healthy to be able to go to those places because a lot of the times when you're trying to give 100% all the time, it's not healthy. Um, you, you do definitely need time to recover and relax and you know that's what I'm doing now. I have a lot more time to focus on recovery and focus on accessory and, and other things that affect lifting in general so that's kind of what i'm focusing on right now i do train like seven days a week but i have a lot more time to myself to focus on myself and to focus on the things that i need to get done so that's kind of where i'm, I'm at right now um, i'm doing three days crossfit three days weightlifting or three days weightlifting and the one day of recovery type work which is a lot lighter 
but it's weird. Um, I'm in a great place. Um, I say that not as being maniacal, but because I've actually been working on the things that I need to work on. And that's something that I think all CrossFitters need to remember is that as much as CrossFit is a physical thing, there's also a mental component that you also need to work through. There's things in your personal life that'll affect your athletic life as well as your business life as well as your work life and so keeping those things in mind i think if you have a healthy mindset going to the open i think that's probably going to be the biggest factor in regards to dominating and crushing the open you know if you go in thinking that you're going to crush every single workout that's probably not very realistic you probably want to think of what your strengths are what your weaknesses are and making sure that you can capitalize on your strengths to um, bring up your weaknesses or to, you know, for example, 20.1, um, burpees aren't my thing. Snatches are, I weightlift all the time. That's pretty much all I do. Um, CrossFit is kind of like accessory and conditioning. So I could go through most of the rounds unbroken for snatches. It was no problem for me. Um, but the burpees. So I made sure that I was efficient and I executed well on the snatches. And then with the burpees, I just tried to make sure that I kept moving because I knew that it was a weakness for me. And so that's my uh, request from you guys is that you guys focus on um, the mental capacity and the, the mental aspect of training and not forgetting that because that plays such a huge part. And that's been one of the things that's been holding me back a lot. Um, a lot of things, like I said, personally that I've needed to get through. So again, also I'm a little under the weather. That's why I sound very froggy, but I'm really excited guys to be making more content for you guys um, coming up uh, some stuff that I want to do. I want to get back into making these cop or drop videos because there's a lot of products that are coming out as well as uh, reviews. I'm working, going to be working with ES Sounds. Um, some CrossFitters have been um, working with them in the last few weeks. I'll leave a link down to their stuff down below if you guys want to take a look at their stuff ahead of time. I've never used their stuff, but I've been thinking about purchasing from them. They reached out to me, so I'm going to be doing a video for you guys on that coming up soon. And as always, just let me know down below what you guys want to see. Um, I'm going to be balancing that between doing videos that I want to do as well as videos that you guys want to see, things that are going to enhance my artistic vision um, as well as doing things that you guys really enjoy. Um, I'm not going to be diving into drama and news. That's not my thing. I want to focus on uh, products. That's really something that I love. Um, the blog, that's another aspect of something I want to touch on briefly. Um, I'm kind of rebranding everything to RX Media. Um, I do a lot of freelance photography and videography, as you guys well know, um, and I want everything under that same banner. So I've officially decided to end Primed Force. It's been a long run. I started it in college. I'm gonna be rebranding that to R or to the Dispatch, which is what the name of the blog is. Um, and that has had, that's been around for, for quite some time. Um, I'm just killing the shop, Primed Force, it's gone. Um, I'm gonna have some of the merch from Primed Force in the RX Media shop. Um, I don't have an official date for when I'm gonna be releasing that officially, um, but I'll let you guys know when that does launch. Um, and yeah, you can follow me on RX Media. That's where uh, my photo video type uh, client work is gonna be the dispatch. Um, RX is the, um, the new handle for Prime Force and it's gonna be more of a digitally uh, curated magazine for athletic lifestyle, particularly CrossFitters, weightlifters, showcasing different products that are gonna be coming up. And that's just gonna be an extension of the blog that's already always been there. So um, that's just to clarify things for you guys. Again, I'm so excited. Um, also, I'm in this new space, as you guys can tell, um, which also adds to my excitement. Uh, just a new chapter in life, a new place in life, and I hope you guys are doing well, guys. And I'm super excited to close out this video as I used to do. As always, guys, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.